2,000 likes on this video, I'll drink this whole jug of water and then piss on Brandon. So if you want it, 2,000 likes. Not exactly the weather I was hoping for today because we have some big, big plans this weekend. We gotta get some important things done today because the winter months are just about over. And that means race season is upon us. And you guys know we left off racing this car stock with just a tire and it ran a 12.0 in the quarter mile on a 95 degree day. So ever since we did the long tube headers, the full exhaust, the E85, ported manifold, cold air intake, and tune from Palm Beach Dino, I haven't been able to make it to the track. Since we have the track day tomorrow and it's the opening like day uh, for it, I wanted to get the car out there and see what it runs because 12.0 stock with just a tire, stock tune, and it would be nice to get 11.5 or lower. And it's like right now is the perfect time for it because the weather is gonna be like 65. So it's gonna be really cool tomorrow. Um, I don't think it's supposed to rain. I think it's supposed to clear up, which is why I have to tackle everything today, unfortunately, in this piss weather. But I gotta get it done. I gotta get the car back on E85. I'm debating an oil change. I'm gonna check the oil, see where it's at. If I can slide through the weekend and just do it next week without being rushed, I'll knock that out. I do wanna wash it and clean it. Like, I, you know, I got freaking basketball back there. A mason jar, that's weird. An empty case of bang, which Joel, I need a re-up. But yeah, I gotta get this place cleaned up. I'm excited, guys. I wanna go to the track so bad and see what this thing freaking runs. That little issue is the fact we have almost half a tank of 93 in here and I gotta go and drive 71 miles for shits and giggles just to drain the 93 gotta get it on E there's no way I'm going to the track on 93 so we gotta get to driving I'm actually probably gonna go try to pick up Brandon I think he's in bed but like I said 2,000 likes on this video like squad make it happen DBP squad I'll go and chug this on camera and then I'll piss all over minion 50 I mean he pissed all over Hades one time let's not forget that this rain absolutely sucks and it kind of cuts into my plans because I was going to go and throw the drag pack on first so when I'm done driving and stuff and hit the gas station I can check the air in them because they haven't been on in forever and uh, yeah I'm not going to chance that I'm not going to throw them on especially with the skinnies up front drive around in in the rain and chance something so might be a little more work and a little you know drug out today but we got to do what we got to do to make it to the track tomorrow and then Sunday all the boys were all meeting up and going for a nice little cruise um, out to this burger joint and uh, it, we've done it before a long time ago really cool like narrow bridge going across this water that we stopped on took photos and stuff definitely have my work cut out for me this weekend which I'm stoked on I, I love doing car shows nobody just ever wants to do anything so it's good it's nice that I got invited to something this weekend that I didn't have to plan so I'm stoked on that I figured now is a good time to go ahead and touch up on like the whole entire topic of this week you know Monday and Wednesday we posted videos revolving around this car being potentially sold and either picking up a dark horse a Mach 1 GT350 or you know the other hidden gem that a lot of you I actually guessed um, so if you want to go run up that video take a look at the comments uh, a lot of people guessed it and yes you are right if you guessed it <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say that is the car I'm leaning towards most just because it's different i um, never experienced it I think it'd be a really really good business move as a whole just like collaborating with a lot of people in that space and learning that space and it'll be fun just because it's you know it's new to me I love Mustangs don't get me wrong I'm a Ford guy at heart but one there's nothing wrong with trying new platforms learning new things and two you also have to to respect what other platforms can bring to the table like this whole fanboying stuff and saying you know this car sucks because of this car or that car sucks like oh Lamborghini sucks because I'm a Ford guy like honestly you're an idiot it's so stupid it's so cringy you got to grow out of that childish mindset because these these companies are still around for a reason because they honestly do provide some really dope stuff so uh, that's the way I look at it. That's the way I'm going to treat it. And that's, you know, that's what I'm going to do full speed ahead. Revolving Hades and getting rid of it anytime soon. It is going to stay here for at least, at least another three months. Um, the three month marker is kind of when he's going to be ready uh, with, with this whole financial thing in the bank with his house. So he has a lot going on. He just bought a house. Um, he does have $45,000 in cash right now. So, you know, to make up that other 10K, about three months. And, uh, you know, potentially this car might be gone. I'm not going to sit there and say it is for sure because anything can happen. But, uh, you know, as of right now, it's staying and we are going to enjoy it a lot. Um, I'm not bummed about it whatsoever and another thing that's throwing off a lot of people is the thumbnails on my videos I have to go and change the color of the car guys because 
YouTube is all about click-through rate and you know when they push content if it doesn't get clicked or it's not eye-catchy it kind of demotes your videos so that's why I don't think I'm like it's not really click baiting it's just I bought a really really dark colored car and you know if you look at these white cars in front of us they pop out this car is very subtle and it's kind of you know inconspicuous so it's it's hard to get clicks on it and that's the only reason why truthfully so if you see some like rainbow colored cars and stuff you know just do your boy the favor do the solid click the video check it out and uh yeah so that's the whole thumbnail thing let's go get this man we got driving to do look at that yellow guys that's what i'm talking about like if you saw that in a thumbnail right now it's grabbing your attention there's my car in the background there's minion which which is catching your attention good thing i got joel's passcode I practically live here. He doesn't know that yet. What in the hell is going on here? I'm learning how to upgrade my, my radio. I can't even see you. Lights on. Lights on. Are you on like, are you like bedridden? Chipotle, we gotta drive. I have 63 miles to crank, so you can drive for me if you want. Is it raining outside? Yeah, I gotta go though. We got track day tomorrow. You invited yeah. me. We got things to do, people to see, places to eat, Chipotle to destroy. Oh, I know, I know you are, big boy. I know. I, was, I woke up thinking Chipotle. <laughs> 600 pound life, here we come. You meet Jake there. Yeah, Jake's a bitch. <laughs> What's up? What the hell are you doing? Dang, dude, look at Joel's setup. Playing some Destiny. Brandon, what in the hell did you do? They are actually pretty fresh, though. Etsy for 150, right? You hear that? Yeah. That's what's gonna gap your ass next time we race. We gotta go and give a huge shout out Extreme Online Store. If any of you watching right now have a vehicle that you like to modify, I highly recommend checking out Extreme Online Store because they have so many aftermarket parts in stock for so many different vehicles. Hades here has a ton of their parts. The Corvette has parts from them going on. And the best part about it is you can actually save money by using my promo code. Definitely take advantage of that, guys. I think it's like 5 or 10% off all orders, as many orders as you'd like. They have a ton of carbon fiber parts. They have interior parts. They have just so much for your vehicle and uh you know they're very cool guys like i've been working with them for a while and i do want to go and end this off with a huge shout out to extreme online store thank you all so much yeah whose phone is that mine you left it in the car i got two what the hell you got two phones for where'd the other one come from gotta run that trap you know what i'm saying yeah <laughs> what do you mean you buy from me all the time all the methamphetamine i sell you hey yo you you're the one buying it I ain't what, buying do you, what do you do with it god what the f up seat belt bro <laughs> what do you do with it Sell it, resell it. Oh, so you are a drug dealer. I think I, think I got Yeezys. <laughs> I'm gonna go burn this gas. I got 66 miles. I'll update you periodically. Uh, I know we're gonna grab some Chipotle. You hitting the gym still? Yeah. Lying ass. When was the last time you went? It's been okay. I haven't gone since before. <laughs> I haven't gone since before I went to Florida. All right. So how long ago was that? Like a week or two? Yeah. Like two uh, yeah. I'm still going to the gym. My ass. You need to go back. Yeah, you do. This house gets so big. <laughs> Look at this big ass wing eco. You got the, the canards. Bumper. Oh, GT350 front bumper though. Hey, that does look good though. 350 front bumper looks fire. I don't like the canards on there, but. <sighs> I'm struggling right now. A little update on our progress. We are currently sitting at 41 miles till E. So we've been busting it out, honestly, just doing loops. The weather has gotten worse, I think. Um, it's absolutely disgusting out here. So we're trying to make do with what we got. At least we do have some good temperature this weekend. We have there's, a lot of car stuff shop, going on. It's shopping right there. Where was it? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I guess one of the guys that's going to the track with us tomorrow. Talk a little bit about tomorrow and what I plan slash hope to run. Um, I know I said at the beginning of this video, I ran a 12-0 stock with just a tire in horrible weather. Well, not weather, but horrible temperature. It was 95 degrees out. It was terrible. And um, I will say, I think the car has 11.5 or lower in it. If I can pull 11.5, 11.4, I'm happy with that. Um, a lot of people don't understand to go 10 in these cars, like it takes some effort for sure. What do you think it's gonna run? I don't know, we'll see. Come on, man, that's so like, give, my, us, give my, us a good guess. I'm optimistic, you know, you don't, you don't, I'm not gonna say a number until I see what the car does. All right, better question. Am I gonna beat Danny again tomorrow? Uh, yeah. No. Danny and I are going to run again tomorrow. It's gonna to be a little bit different though. He has full exhaust now um, And he has a tire so It's gonna be hard, but it'll be damn. It'll be damn fun. That's for sure I'm, I'm, I hope just something happens to where he fucks up and I get the jump and he can't reel me in and I win Just so I can mess with him. It's too funny. I don't think he'll live this one down though. What do you think? 
<laughs> he won't um, live this one down. Especially after all the work he's just done to the car. <laughs> he still loses. We'll have to see, so we'll have to see. Gucci. Surprised you can lift those. You haven't been to the gym in two weeks. The whole time I was looking at like how many miles till E. It says 36, but if you look, we actually have a quarter of a tank of gas left. Um, and that's gonna be because like, when you run E85, you get lower gas mileage, then when you swap tunes and run 93, you get more, so the computer starts wigging out a little bit. Probably means tomorrow I'm just gonna drive back out here, burn up some more gas, because that's just quarter of a tank and then three quarters E85 on a straight E85 tune just isn't smart. Um, it's, a, it's, it's definitely a little too much. We drove the car about 40, 50 miles aimlessly, just wasting gas, it feels great. <laughs> Picked up the oil, which I am going to do tomorrow morning, and, and after that, I'm gonna drive back to the gas station, swap it to E85. That'll be done. The last thing we gotta do, and I'm kind of excited about this last part because I have yet to see it with the new mock bumper, the wicker bill, and the diffuser, and that's gonna be the drag pack. I do have new tires for the rears. I'm obviously not going to be running them. I feel like I can get one more day, uh, one more track session out of these. So we're just going to send it on those. Probably be a bad idea. Probably won't hook up, but we're going to try. And uh, yeah, I'm so excited to see what this looks like with the drag pack on. Ah, there's that balloon floaty feeling. I haven't, I haven't drove on these in so long. But we got them swapped on, and like I said, a little bit of tread. Hopefully we can make them work with tomorrow, get some decent passes on them. And then after that, I have to take them back off to throw the street setup back on because as I mentioned, we're going on a big cruise Sunday. So that's the perfect opportunity then to get the new Mickeys thrown on the drag pack for this upcoming season and uh, you know, kind of see where we're at. But I will say with tomorrow, you know, with the times and stuff I get, I don't think I'm gonna be chasing times necessarily after tomorrow. What I wanna do is get a general idea of where the car's at. So tomorrow should be perfect, E85. The tires are kind of no bueno, but I'm gonna have to just roll with it. But uh, you know, good weather. So, you know, if we're running 11 fives or so, I wanna start lining up races with you guys that you know are kind of on the same level as far as quarter mile times or eighth mile times. This way we can make some fun content, race some different cars, and it's gonna be a good run regardless. Now, with that being said, I'm not looking for freaking 800 horsepower, you know, grudge racing cars. It's stupid, it's a waste of time. Yeah, big deal, congrats. You beat a freaking NA Gen 3 Coyote. Like, All right, boys, here she is. Good old Hades girl, back on the VMS drag pack. Ooh, I don't care what anyone says, this is so tight. I love the way it looks. Look at this from the rear. Oh yeah, old girl ready. But there you have it, boys. I think Hades is just about ready to make some make some passes in 2023. I'm anxious to see what an NA 10R80 full bolt-on coyote can do on E85. Like it should be should be rather stout, honestly. Um Brandon pretty much had the same setup as me last year. And he was running 11.5, 11.6, I think. So it's kind of where I want to be at. It's kind of where I want to be at. I'll be happy with that. And like I said, I'm not going to be chasing numbers on the NA setup because it's kind of silly without doing crazy stuff. I'm just going to go, yo, Justin, it's time. It's time, baby. Where's that VMP at? <laughs> That'll be step two. And then we're coming for everybody's neck. But anyways, guys, I hope everybody has a blessed weekend. Y'all wish me luck, man. Uh, we're gonna have some we're gonna have some good stuff coming out next week so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already drop a like up on this video 2,000 likes i'll chug the whole gallon of water and piss on brandon's car make sure you guys go shop at extreme online store help your boy out help your car out help yourself out by using dbp squad as the promo code to save some money and we will catch you all monday 8 p.m eastern time lock it in set a reminder hades first pass of 2023 is going down and if that's not the video something tragic happened something to where weather or the car so other than that, I'm there tomorrow. Much love, fam. Y'all take care. We'll see you later.